Jurors have reached a verdict in the bizarre murder trial in Georgia. It was a case of a flight attendant who was killed by an alleged stalker back in 1995. The suspect was only put on trial this year thanks to new DNA evidence. And in a weird twist, he chose to defend himself in court. Well, that turned out to be a bad move for him. ABC Steve Osunsami has the story. After a 17-year murder mystery and then a bizarre trial with Wasim Dacre, an ex-con acting as his own attorney and frightening victims on the witness stand. We, the jury, find the defendant, Wasim Dacre, guilty as to count two felony murder. The Jurors moved quickly, nine, closing this cold case in three short hours, nine. finding Dacre guilty of strangling flight attendant Carmen Smith in 1995 as an act of revenge against her housemate Loretta Blatz who was then working with authorities to send him to jail for stalking her. It's a great day for Carmen Smith and her family, and um, we're thrilled with the outcome of the case. Prosecutors called him a monster and an obsessed maniac, who after killing Smith, waited all day for her five-year-old son to come walking home from school, walking through these sliding glass doors. Nicholas Smith was stabbed 18 times and survived. He's now 22, and after jurors read the verdict, he and his family hugged and cried. She was a beautiful, caring, outgoing mom whose son Nick was the number one thing in her life. She was taken from us way too soon by a savage monster. When he testified, Nicholas Smith broke down, telling jurors the killer was wearing a mask so he couldn't see his face. I could kind of see when they ran past the window in our room, but it was still really dark and they were wearing really dark clothes. <laughs> Loretta Blatz, the object of Dacre's affection and the woman he stalked, couldn't believe she had to answer questions from the man who turned her life upside down. It's just, it's prejudicial and entirely inappropriate. Well, you know, it's really inappropriate that you stalked me and harassed me and you're sitting here answering questions and I have to come back with you and answer your questions. That's hard for me. He faces life in jail at sentencing, scheduled on Monday and all of his victims plan to attend. For Good Morning America, Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Atlanta.